Thousands of satellites are circling our planet, beaming internet, tracking storms, and guiding your GPS. But how many are actually in space today? The real number might surprise you. For most of history, Earth orbited the Sun alone. Then in 1957, Sputnik became the first artificial satellite. Now, just decades later, space has gotten crowded. Let's break down the numbers. As of 2025, there are about 13,000 active satellites orbiting Earth, with the total number of objects closer to 16,000. This number is growing fast, mostly thanks to mega-constellations like SpaceX's Starlink. Over half of active satellites belong to companies building global internet networks. Just one program, Starlink, has deployed thousands. Then there are, weather satellites, GPS and navigation military surveillance, Earth observation for farming and climate and communication satellites for your TV and phone. Most satellites are in low Earth orbit, or LEO, up to 2,000 km high, that's where Starlink and the ISS fly, GPS satellites orbit higher in medium Earth orbit, and at 36,000 km is geostationary orbit, where satellites hover over the same spot on Earth. With tens of thousands of objects orbiting at 28,000 km or h, collisions are a real concern. Each impact creates more debris, threatening other satellites in a chain reaction known as the Kessler syndrome, but new satellites are being designed to deorbit safely or burn up in the atmosphere. By 2030, we could see over 50,000 satellites in orbit. Space is becoming the next frontier, as important as land, sea, and air. So next time you look up, remember, Earth isn't alone. Thousands of machines are helping our world stay connected, informed, and exploring. If you enjoyed this, like, subscribe, and comment. Should we put tens of thousands of satellites in space, or is it too much?